Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Horror Mama here. Yep, it's all black and white. Now I'm not talking about um, some of our favorite, sorry, I just got interrupted by my dog barking upstairs. Our favorite, or some of my favorite um, horror is in black and white. I'm old school, favorites are, and I would like to know um, from all of you watching, if you have seen the old black and white horror movies what is your favorite what was your favorite what was the first one you saw i know i can't remember the first one i saw but i will tell you that um i was born in the 60s so i can remember watching the older twilight zone episodes they were always my favorite even as a little child i just liked them uh the movies of course the horror movies with your frankenstein and creature from the black lagoon all of that um but i also watch movies if if any of you have ever seen them, The Incredible Shrinking Man, a movie called Them, which was about giant ants and tarantula. And they have one about, I think, a praying mantis. So if you haven't seen any of these, look them up because they're really good movies to watch. Um, I did have a lot of fun with it, you know, and I still do. But, and now, of course, when these came out, I had to get them black and white. The black and white Universal Monsters. But that's not why um, this uh, video is all about. It is about black and white, but our some of our favorite, I guess, black and white uh, characters would be what? Ghostface. And that's what I'm getting ready to show you right now as I finally, now these weren't even due in until August. I'm going to leave the link below. They are sold out, but they might restock. So hold on to the link if you have not gotten one. Hopefully you didn't go on to eBay and pay ridiculous price for this thing. Um... Because it always happens that way, right? You end up, they end up restocking. That happens with Funko too. But anyway, I got my popcorn bucket from Cinemark. Now, um, like I said, they sold it. I didn't go to the movies and I didn't, you know, go to the movie to see that. But um, of course, everybody was um, raving about the bowl and the cups and everything. And then they went on sale. Uh, few weeks later I guess it was so there are people that actually spent overspent for these things but I think it is well done it's nice and strong um, the face is done really well as you can see the bucket itself is textured it says on the back um, do you like scary movies and then it opens it to it's not very big so for to put popcorn in it you know if you look in here and it'll hold a decent amount but not even come close to if you're at the movies that but you know you got a small area to stick your hand in but I'm not using it for that I'm just I just got it because I liked it I like ghost face I like scream so here you go again the link is in the description hold on to the link and then um, from Zobie I send in Funko Pops to get signed and uh, so my other black and white is, and I just got this in, and um, I have an 8x10, but I do not have her signature on the Funko Pop, and it is Bonnie Aarons, the demonic nun. So I just got this in the mail uh, about two days ago, and I'm very satisfied with it. I did want it signed in red, and what I didn't put on the note, and I'm glad she did this anyway, is... Um, to put the character. So she put Valak and the little red crosses there. And I think it's a really nice signature. I think it really pops on this black and white. So you got your uh, nun, of course, black and white, correct? Um, so I thought I would just share those with you, that those mail calls, and I've got some more coming next week. They're on the way, boxes on the way. Um, and I will share those with you later. So you all take care. You have an amazing day and peace.